What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all like the new setup, we got that plan on the background, you know, to add some color. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Without further ado, let's get to the cut. In this video, we're going to be showcasing my steps on how to do a high taper with a short textured top. And we're going to start with our number 2 guard and set our foundation for the taper. Some key points when doing my method of cutting is to always go straight up from the head and ensure to not dig in to maintain that squared shape. You want to be very thorough when setting down the hair to make the fading process a lot smoother. And to start the taper, we're going to be going with your lever post clipper and angle your guide like so. The next step would be to open the lever and set in a guide that's half an inch wide. To remove the bottom line that you just created, put the lever halfway open and slowly erase that bottom line by using the corner blending method. Now grab your number one guard with the lever open and the goal is to not set a guide but slowly blend away to the number two. Now close the lever and soften up that bottom line. What you're going to notice in a lot of my tutorials is that I utilize the corners of my clipper throughout the fading process. This helps me ensure that I'm only knocking down the necessary hairs and avoid cutting too deep into the fade. And now to completely blend out the taper, grab your zero guard and detail. And all the same steps apply to the other side of the head and the back of the head. When you watch my videos, my fading process is super simple and easy to follow. It involves a lot of corner blending with the clipper and it helps with my efficiency as I'm not setting too many guides because sometimes setting too many can be confusing. That's just my opinion. And hopefully y'all noticed the new setup, you know, we got the new lights behind the, the mirror so that you guys can have a clear visual of my steps and my techniques.
I also emphasize on detailing my work as much as possible. There's nothing better than having a clean, well-balanced haircut. And one way to knock down the heaviness around the ridge of the head, we're going to be going ahead and do some clipper over comb. The homie wanted to grow the top out so we just went ahead and gave it some texture. I'll be reposting a more in-depth video on the my go-to texturizing techniques so stay tuned for that. And for the lineup, avoid pushing it back from where it naturally sits because there's nothing worse than a push back hairline. And a quick tip, leave some hairs near the hairline darker so that when you line it up, it'll create a sharper look and make the haircut pop out that much more. Again, don't push back the hairline. Now you're going to want to finish the haircut with a proper lineup with a razor and the main key is to have consistent controlled strokes to avoid cutting your client. And that is it for the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and hope you all find the tutorial helpful. 
And as always, stay safe and God bless. See you on the next one.